never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys? So guys, good morning. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video and today We're not taking the 435. We're not taking the 535. We might be getting a 135 Yeah from the title of this video as you see I'm trying to I'm, pr I, I'm hoping I'll get the cheapest 135 I've ever seen uh, Basically my Jonathan if you guys know make videos all the time So for those of you guys who are OG you guys probably know who Jonathan is he actually has a 135 M Sport full package navigation LCI like Everything you possibly want other than a manual transmission. It's an automatic unfortunately, but other than that He did all the maintenance, but he got a check engine light the AC's not working There's a bunch of things that are not working and he's just kind of fed up with it He kind of wanted to get he wants to get a newer build maybe like my 435 or my 535 So I was like, you know what? I do have a lot of ideas for an N54 like maybe a track build so for 5500 bucks I think that's a really good deal. So I think I want to go ahead and pick it up It's even it's not even registered in California. It's registered in Texas So that's another issue, but hopefully we get that sorted. So yeah, let's go ahead and go down to the bank real quick We'll take the 535 and uh, get the money that we're gonna need to hopefully pick up this 135 We're gonna have a whole collection 135 435 535. We need a 335. Look at this bad boy Damn. Okay, look at this. It's a little key spot here super fancy Anywho, let's head down to the bank real quick, swipe 5,500 bucks. I think we have to go to the inside of the bank, unfortunately, but it should be quick and easy. I know Jonathan really wants a new build, and I, I don't mind the 135 for the channel. I show, I'm sure a lot, a lot of you guys have been telling me to get an N54, so uh, I'd rather have an N54 and a 1 Series. It's a smaller chassis, which means in terms of speed, you're probably in the most amount of speed out of a 135 than a, five, a 335 or anything like that. So I'm super hyped for it. I hope if you guys are just as hyped as I am, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know down below, guys. Should I make this the ultimate track build? I did call Jason from Burger Tuning, and uh, we're going to absolutely build this thing. So it's going to be absolutely insane. I think it's going to have all the bolt-ons and I mean bolt-ons not just regular bolt-ons like maybe even like injected like I don't know some come I don't know if it's called meth injection fuel injection I don't know what's it called but it's gonna be absolutely insane so I called Jason he said he's on board I was like okay cool so we got burger tuning on board on this build so I think it's gonna be absolutely insane so let's just go ahead and pick up the cash we're actually not meeting him today so as soon as we get the cash I'll see you guys tomorrow mainly because uh he has work so it is what it is and I don't know what this is saying. Woo! Oh, I don't know what it's saying, but hey, yeah. All right, guys, we have Bank of America. Let's get it. Like I say in all these builds, 3,000 likes. Get this video to 3,000 likes, and I will build this thing. I promise. I promise I will build it. 3,000 likes, guys. I need to know that you guys want me to build an N54. These cars have many problems. I really don't want to deal with them, but I'll deal with it if you guys want to see it. So you guys got to let me know. Do you guys want to see this type of content? Smash that like button. Let me know down below. If you guys want to see it, we'll do it. If you guys don't want to see it, we'll stick to the F10, regardless of building this F10. But do you guys want to see an N54 track build on the side? Who knows? Who knows? So if you guys want to see that 3,000 likes, guys, smash that button. How you think, yo? I don't know what's going on, yeah. Please don't copyright me, yeah. So give me like five minutes. I'll be back with the money. Guys, yeah, so I just got out of the bank. And check this out. So they gave me a fat stack of 50s because they ran out of hundreds. This is only five grand. I guess it's 5,050s. It looks like I'm absolutely balling, but this is 5,000 bucks, which is crazy. I mean, obviously, that's a lot of money. I'm sure Jonathan's gonna be super ecstatic to see this. Um, and also, a couple more 50s to make it 55. So, yeah, we have the money. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow at this point. And uh, it's a clean title, 135. Again, two keys. So, that's pretty sick. And he has all the documents and everything. And the title is a Texas, but it is what it is. It does have a check engine light. It is what it is. AC doesn't work. It is what it is. We'll figure it out. That's what this whole channel is about. It's about saving BMWs. I need you all to smash that like button. 3,000 likes, guys. And I will fully build this car, at least internally. At least internally. And then maybe some external carbon fiber. You know, I go crazy on my build. You guys seen the 435 my m3 so come on smash that like button 3,000 likes. Right, guys heading out to get our new cars let's jump in the 435 now nah, i'm just lying guys uh it, it, it got delivered to me what's up bro <laughs> that was a check engine light <laughs> Oh man, so uh, I have to do some a little bit of explaining to you guys. Nice shoes, by the way. Damn. Uh, oh, you just went to church, didn't you? Oh, okay. So that's why he's looking so damn fine today. Anywho, with the no AC, my back happens to be just a little bit sweaty. It happens. So let me just do a little bit of explaining to you guys. So Jonathan over here, 
He decided he's gonna go ahead and sell me his uh he's been trying to get a new build. I know he's been trying to get a new build. I, I've been trying to sell this for like the past month and a half. So <laughs> I feel like it's been way longer than that. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Why don't I just buy off your I just buy your car and then you can go get another build and I can actually build an N54 because you guys wanted to see an N54, but I wasn't really trying to do another 335. A 135, I think that'd be kind of sick. Yeah. So I and he, can't, I can't really do it just because of like too much money. <laughs> it costs a lot of money to do it these cars. These are money. these are a lot of work. But anywho, just for those of you guys who haven't got an in-depth tour, I will be taking this down to the shop and I'll show you guys a lot more about the car. But I want to show something to Jonathan that's pretty cool oh, okay. with this thing. Oh. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I don't know if you ever seen. <laughs> Can you see this? All right, Jonathan, here you go, buddy. Fifties? <laughs> what the heck? Isn't it super cool? It's rolled up. <laughs> Bro, these are crisp. <laughs> they are they're actually brand new. So yeah, the, the bank ran out of hundreds, so I, I they, so, they only gave me 50. I've, I've never seen that, to be honest. Never yeah, ever seen no, 50s. me either. So that was sick. That's 5,000, by the way. Here's the other. Okay. Here's the rest of that. And you can use this. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll <laughs> leave it in here. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, Jonathan actually has the plates and everything. It is a Texas car. So we're going to go upstairs, finalize a couple documents. I need to get a bill of sale. So as I'm driving this around, I don't get pulled over and screwed over. <laughs> so I'm going to do a bill of sale with Jonathan. Even though it's my friend, it's just for the police. Uh, just so they know, you know, I just purchased the car and, and you know, I'm not having been driving the past couple months with Texas plates or something. So anyway, let's head inside and uh, get this car rolling. I'm gonna have to call Jason Burger Tune and get all these bolt-ons ASAP. All right guys, so here is all the car keys. I've never actually owned two keys to one car, let alone three at the same time. Absolute blessing. Uh, so this is pretty insane. So yeah, 135, 535, 435. I should probably should mix match that, but this one doesn't have a keychain. So anywho, by the way guys, if you're trying to copy keychains, link down below. But anywho guys, that is absolutely insane. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. And I'm gonna put the rest of these in my drawer. So Jonathan actually has all the documents to the car. He also has a pink slip and all that stuff. We're about to go over all that, write a bill of sale. Uh, again, bill of sale is just for in case the police pulls me over. Texas plates, I don't even know how to even go about that. So let's oh hope to God we don't get pulled over. We'll go ahead and do all the, the non-fun stuff and I'll get back to you guys in a second. It has a huge folder of maintenance. Bro, this is like, all the maintenance on the car, which is I'm telling you, like, that's insane. Board. All right, guys, just got the insurance on the 135, so this is sick. This build is gonna be absolutely insane. And what's also necessary is some Chipotle, so you might have to get wow. that. We're taking the 135. Uh, Buddy, check this out. This thing actually looks so good for the year, too. It's kind of crazy. M Sport. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's LCI, right? It's like half LCI. Half LCI. It's the 2010 model. Uh, has the CIC nav, all the bells and whistles. Again, M Sport package, which looks really good. One of the main things I'm gonna be replacing is the front bumper because the paint's completely messed. Um, but as for the paint, guys, should I be wrapping this car or should I keep it black? No idea. Let me know down below, guys. Get in. This is the. I've, I've gone into this car many times before. But this is the first time I'm getting into one. It's actually mine. M Sport. M Sport paddles, navigation. This is the CIC model, roof and everything. Now. It's mine now, but yeah, I appreciate it, my G. Let's go ahead and see why I got the car for the deal that I did. That is the reason right there. But anyhow, and the fact that it has no AC and it's super hot. I'm really hoping we can fix the AC today. That's actually one of the things I want to get fixed. Anyhow, let's go eat. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. And drop off the money. I'm gonna drop off my the new cash the new for cash. Jonathan's new car. So hopefully he's picking up a new car next soon. New car. That's gonna be sick. Big so. news, big news coming, <laughs> coming soon. soon. All right guys, first little rip. Life. Oh God, <laughs> I'm, I'm so thankful I'm out of this. <laughs> He's like, the bus gonna stop, but ain't my problem no more. <laughs> ain't my problem. Pulling up to yeah, my favorite go. place. Woohoo! I've had a one series. This thing is like the easiest car to park. Unfortunately, I can't go, but it is what it is. But yeah, guys, 135 chilling here at Chipotle. You ready to eat or what? Yeah. Let's get it, let's get it. I am legit destroying my plate right now. Jonathan, I'm like, he's all right. <laughs> he has more greens than his. You just think about all kinds of different things he can do with his life now. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna finish up chowing down and then we're gonna head down to the shop and uh, finally just getting everything sorted on that car. Made it to the shop, me and Jonathan, and he's gonna go up to the garage door. We're gonna get the head and take this N54. The service engine lights, it's pretty uh, ironic. I don't know if that's the right word, ironic, because it is an N54 and it's just common problems. So I think it's because of an EVAP issue, so I hope we can fix it pretty soon. I already ordered an EVAP system for this car, uh, so hopefully we'll figure that out. It might be an EVAP leak, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace all the hoses and lines and everything as well. But right now we're actually back at the shop to hopefully get the AC working because the AC line's not in the car. We actually do something pretty janky to rebuild that AC line. Two days. So this is the AC line guys we went ahead and just jb welded the whole thing so i hope to god 
this might fix it. I think it, I think it will. I think it will too, so hope to God. It should be good. Kind of janky, isn't it? Yeah. It's super janky. It is what it, it, is, what it is. is. All right, guys, so the car has been sitting here for about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and take apart all this stuff again and put in that AC line, and then hopefully, hopefully, the AC line will not be leaking and we're good. If it starts leaking, I am picking up a new AC line tomorrow. This is really janky, but I don't care. If it works, it works. You know I do it for the family. Yeah, give a fuck about a Grammy. Yeah, cause they will never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we never had a plan B. No. You forgot to unplug the battery. Five hours later. But I always been a message. janky hose back in there. Uh, let's go ahead and lower the car and uh, reconnect the battery real quick. Are you kidding the battery? Cool, cool. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the car and we're gonna go ahead and make sure, uh, if we can, uh, hope to God we have some AC in this car today. If not, tomorrow we'll get a new AC line, I promise, guys. Is still doing it? We're starting to think it's not even that, that hose after all this. I'm starting to think, well, Jonathan is starting to think it could be the actual AC condenser, right? So that sucks. Go ahead and move the bumper and uh, see what's going on. I'm hoping we can see an AC. If we can actually see the problem, that'd be great, honest. <laughs> Yeah, so that's happening. We're gonna have to remove the whole radiator just to get to the condenser. So we're gonna have to drain our corn. That sucks. All right, guys, after literally taking forever to just take this stupid thing out, it's not even the same size, so that sucks. We're gonna have to go ahead and order a new condenser. I literally thought I was gonna get lucky and that would work, but no, we're gonna have to order a new condenser. So looking at it from, this is the front or the back? This is the back, so that's not really what's affected. There's a giant puncture right there, which I actually think could be the cause of it. One right there, uh, this right here as well, and then I don't know what's going on over here. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think this or this, it sounded from one of these two. Yeah. Maybe even this, honestly. Like, it sounded somewhere from up here, so. Yeah, this is shot, unfortunately. We're gonna go ahead and just bolt on the radiator as it is, so at least we can drive this thing home today. So yeah, we're gonna need a new AC condenser. Luckily, we figured out it was the AC condenser, not the line, so we're not spending any more money on getting a new line. It is, Jonathan's happy, it's not his problem anymore. It's my problem, <laughs> I gotta go spend my money on this. Anywho, let's go ahead and just bolt this thing on and get it all back together. All right, guys, we finally got the car fully assembled. We're gonna go ahead and bleed this system real quick, but other than that, the car should be ready to go. It doesn't have a condenser, uh, but yeah, we're gonna order, go ahead and order a new condenser, and actually, we're gonna have a special guest that's gonna be helping us install this condenser, which you guys haven't seen in a long time. He's actually a good friend of me and Jonathan, so I'm super excited for him to come down here. But anywho, let's go ahead and do that off camera. I'll get back to y'all when this thing is done. So three, two, one. And before we head out, guys, let's go ahead and use some of Shine Armor's products on the car. So I'm actually gonna grab one of these rags real quick, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some interior detail cleaner. Some of the cup holders have like stains and stuff like that. I don't know why, but anywho, we're gonna go ahead and do that. As for the exterior, I don't really care too much for today, so we're not gonna take care of that. In terms of the interior, we'll take care of another video as well. Just for now, I wanna, I wanna clean up some of the cup holder areas, so at least the interior looks pretty clean. At least it feels like a new car to me. So let's go ahead and use some of Shine Armor's products. If you guys are trying to get any other bottles, use my link down below and use my code and I think you guys will get 10 to 20 percent off on these bottles which is pretty sick or actually anything in their store so let's go ahead and clean up the interior
And just like that, guys, we are back in the 135. Wanted to clean up a few places in the car, making this thing just a little bit cleaner for us. So Jonathan's gonna go ahead and lock up in the garage. He's gonna get his stuff. He's actually spending the night at my house. So I'm actually gonna be concluding the video right now. If you guys are excited to see the build on this, I wanna push at least 500 horsepower on this build. Make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are also excited for the F10 build, which I also wanna make it a competitor compared to the 435, make sure to smash that like button. I'm gonna be building the internals a little bit different. I wanna try JB4, I wanna try different kinds of uh, bolt-ons. I wanna see sound comparisons, I wanna see speed comparisons, I wanna see torque comparisons. So that's why I'm gonna be comparing the two cars, the two N55s that I have, and this N54. We're gonna try to make it kind of like a track car. So if you guys are excited for all that stuff, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to cop some merch down below if you guys wanna support your man. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, it's no longer my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to stay humble, y'all. Peace out.